Welcome to Dart Town, brother. I figured for this Dart video, I'll just show you the setup. It's complete now. We uh, finally purchased, slash been gifted, everything we need to make Dart videos until the end of time. Okay? Um, so these are my darts, if you, if you recognize from, from the last episode. I haven't moved them. It's been a while since I've played. Uh, or am I just filming this video right after, but changing my shirt for the illusion that this is being filmed a week later? Hmm. I'm using the same cup. My shirt's different. The darts are in the same position as the last video. I'll let you decide what's going on. But it's not like sewing a merit badge on a Boy Scout sash. It's not that complicated. I'll tell you that right now. So, let me just put my darts away. One, one second. Sorry, I'm not ready for this video. Oh, can you even see that? Barely. Am I going to move the tripod so you can? No. But right here, I finally got a little dart holder. Now, what's cool about this is it can hold. Well, let's count together. So you have three. One, two, three darts going this way, horizontal, which is this way, the this axis. And then you have one, two, three, four, five going up and down. The hot dog axis. No, I guess it'd be the hamburger axis. The hot dog leaning against a tree axis. This one. If you applied for the opening of JJ Fresh, the position that we had, the position that I talked about last dart episode, you should know that that does not hold 18 darts. It doesn't hold four darts, but it holds Comment below. Let's see if you're right. Okay, we're back. Mm. And of course, we have this light, which I've talked about. Just a little little switch right here. Look at that. Boom. Now, it looks overkill in the video. Like It looks like the dartboard died. And it's seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And you're saying, no dartboard, don't go. Stay with me. I, you can't leave me like this. Who am I going to go fishing with? But it's not really that bad in person. It's actually really helpful to see the whole board illuminated. <laughs> and then we have this little guy right here. This is an obnoxious looking, looking, uh, I don't know, it's a cell phone mount. So that's how the last video is the first time I used it. Uh, if you saw, it was much closer, the video of the dartboard, because... I was actually using a mount for it. Whereas before, I would stack styrofoam and boxes on top of each other mm -hmm. and balance my phone against a mini tripod, which this camera was also on those boxes and styrofoam. And that's that was my old dart setup. Now, we're getting a little mature. Our dart setup is going from a little toddler pooping his pants to a grown man pooping his pants, okay? So the difference being toddler that like, can't clean himself up, but I can clean my act up on the dartboard. I start getting sloppy. I start pooping my pants. Oh, hold on, hold on one second. I start pooping my pants. I can clean that up. Now I can see. Oh, I'm still pooping my pants. Okay, well, grab some different darts. That's the difference. I can. I can react to the poop in my pants. A toddler just sits in it, stews in it, just hangs out in filth. So, anyways, just thought I'd give you a little uh, update. This is the setup. It ain't changing. Boom, we're good to go. Maybe one of these days we'll get Josh in here. We'll see uh, see what he can do on the D, the, the DB, you know? The DBZ, the Dragon Ball dartboard. Dartboard, uh, what's the Z stand for? Write in the comments, what does the Z stand for in DBZ? Dartboard Dragon Ball. Dartboard. Dartboard. 